Creating an animation in Blender is usually a two-step process. In the previous tutorial we have seen that we need to provide an output location or folder, then in the file format, we need to choose an image type like PNG. Then go to the render menu and select render animation. Although it says animation, it will actually create a separate image file for each of the frames, not a video. It can take several minutes or hours. Once complete, close this and open the output folder. You will see a series of such image files created by Blender. Now to create an actual video from these still frames, open another instance of Blender. In this initial prompt, select Video Editing. Once we are in the editor click on Add and then choose the Image Sequence option. Now go to the folder where we have created the image sequence and choose one file. Press A on your keyboard to select all the files and click on Add Image Strip. It will add one strip containing all the still images in a sequence. You can add a sound with this if you want. Select Add, then Sound option and choose the sound file in the same way and click on Add Sound Strip. It will add a strip for the background music. You can change the volume or pitch for this sound strip. You can add yet another sound also with this in the same way. Blender adds everything as a separate strip into this editor. You can treat each strip just like a separate object and can even animate some of their properties. You can even add another image sequence or a video file. You can drag a strip into another location, overlapping with another strip, or to another channel to join two strips back to back. For the image sequence or a video strip, you can change its opacity or other properties from here, and you can also keyframe them. To rectify the colors, you can go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier like color balance, brightness, contrast etc. This way you can do all your post-processing work in this editor. That is why creating an animation in Blender is usually a two-step process. First you create an image sequence and import it into this editor, then convert it into your final video with all the after effects. In addition to the video or audio, you can also add other things like a still image, maybe a logo. For that, select your logo file and add it as a strip. Your logo is added into this output. You can make it half transparent by changing its opacity to something like 0.4. Perfect. You can also add a text. The text is not visible here because it is on a white background. Let us change its position. In this field, 0 means extreme left and 1 means extreme right. Let us enter 0.15 for X and 0.9 for Y values. Now the text is visible here. You can change the temporary text to the actual text, maybe your name or the video description. It will overlay on your video. You can change the font size or color of the text. Let us also make it half transparent. So, you might have noticed that the length of this text strip is much shorter than the length of our image sequence. If you want the text to cover the entire video length, go to the time section. It has a start frame and a duration. Change them as per your requirement. We will do the same for the logo we have added. Let us make the duration as 400. Now, there are other things to do. For example, you can add an effect for the video like a fade-in effect, either manually changing its opacity or from this menu option. So let us go to the start and play the animation to verify how the final output looks like. Once everything is done up to your satisfaction, you can now render the final video. Well, probably we should add the same effect for the text we have added, the fade in and fade out effect. And also for the logo so that they mix with the video uniformly. After that, go to the output settings. First change the end frame to match with the end of our image sequence 400. The frame rate should be same as the original frame rate. Then select the output file location. And in the output file format this time select the FFMPEG option for a video. Now in the encoding section, select a video codec like H.264 and also an audio codec like MP3 if you want sound. Then in the output quality, you can choose perceptually lossless for the best video quality without compromising on the size. Finally, go to the render menu and start the render animation. Once it is complete, close this window and play the output video file. Your animation is ready. This brings us to the end of the foundation course. To learn more, you can watch the tutorials I made on mastering Blender. Thanks for watching.